30,000 people are diagnosed with ALS every year, according to researchers at Johns Hopkins. The ice bucket challenge raised a lot of awareness and money for research and potential treatments. Dr. Maria Simber takes a look at what doctors are working on. For someone diagnosed with ALS or Lou Gehrig's disease, in 2020, the prognosis is still grim. The uh, outlook is like from three to five years survival. Uh, but we do have outliers who uh, uh, beat all the odds and uh, will survive longer, um, up to seven years, uh, nine years. It is diagnosed by physical exam and nerve and muscle tests. Why it happens still isn't known, but some risk groups have emerged, such as soldiers and others. Like professional athletes in, involved in contact sports, uh, they have a higher incidence of developing ALS. Uh, so trauma may be playing a role. But treatment has changed. I wouldn't say uh, we have the cure, uh, but, but we, the, there, is, uh, there are options that we can slow down the progression of illness. The treatment includes Rilazole, a pill, and an intravenous drug called Radicava, which requires a special IV port to remain in the chest. Patients hesitate to uh, consider that as the option, and there are some who uh, uh, elect not to proceed with that route. And a new medicine may be coming soon. In phase two trials of about 100 patients, those getting the drug, along with Rilazole and Radicava, had a slower progression of disease over several months. The drug company is encouraged by these results. So they have actually approached the FDA to uh, allow them to get the approval, even though traditionally they require a phase three study. Meanwhile, other drugs are in the works. There are up to 30 products worldwide that are being studied for ALS. Uh, we have a, a couple of the new trials that we are, we are initiating and offering in our clinic. This degenerative disease of certain nerve cells leads to weakness, trouble walking and speaking, cramps and twitching, and changes in behavior. Eventually, it affects the breathing muscles. I'm Dr. Maria Simbra, KDKA News.